Ceiling cassette is a type of air conditioner that often installed above the ceiling. If you have not seen one up close before, it's very difficult to understand how it works. So in this video, we are going to dissect a ceiling cassette unit and see what's inside. Welcome to Aircon Lounge, I'm Yu, and today, we'll learn about how ceiling cassette unit works. Before I start the explanation, let me brief you what's on the screen. What you're looking at is the side view of the ceiling cassette. This is the ceiling line. Everything above this line is what we can't see, and everything below is what we can see. This is the front panel that we see on the ceiling, and that's what most people thought of when it comes to ceiling cassette. However, the secret lies above the ceiling. Now that we understand what is being shown here, I'll start the explanation. First, there are a few ports on the side of the ceiling cassette. One is the drain outlet for discharging the condensate water. The other two are for copper tube's connection. The copper tube will carry refrigerant to the outdoor unit back and forth. Now, how does the supply and return air looks like in a ceiling cassette? Well, air is drawn through the center of the panel and come out at the side of the panel. It sounds simple, right? But how does it work? Let's remove the cover and see what's inside. What you're looking at is a cooling coil and a drain pump. That's right, all ceiling cassettes have a built-in drain pump. Let's first talk about how the drain system works. During operation, condensate water forms on the cooling coil and drip down to the drain tray within the unit. When there is enough water in the tray, the drain pump will start pumping out the water. So when installing a ceiling cassette unit, we need to connect a drain pipe. There are two ways to connect the drain pipe. First is the normal way. We make sure there's enough slope for the drain water to flow properly. However, there's a problem. A typical ceiling cassette is about 250mm or 10 inches tall. The drain outlet is about 200mm or 8 inches from the ceiling. At a standard slope of 1 to 100, meaning for every 100m of length, the drain pipe must drop by 1m. It takes only 20 meter or 65 feet before the drain pipe hits the ceiling. In large building, it is very common to have the drain pipe run well over 20 meter before reaching the discharge point. Therefore, it is very difficult to have enough slope while having a long drain pipe. This is where the second type of drain connection comes in. We can raise the drain pipe to increase the initial height of the slope. If the height of the drain pipe is increased to 300mm or 12 inches, the maximum length can be extended to 30 meter or almost 100 feet. However, the maximum height can be raised is usually not more than 300mm or 12 inches. Rising the drain pipe can also help reducing the noise produced by the drain pump. So, that's for the drain system. Now let's talk about the fan blower. At the center of the unit is the fan blower. Earlier, we've seen that the air returns at the center and supply at the side. But we never see what's happening inside. Well, after the air enters the ceiling cassette, the fan blower pushes it to the side, passing through the cooling coil and exit via the opening on the front panel. One of the advantages of ceiling cassette units over wall mounted unit is the ability to introduce fresh air. Most ceiling cassettes have a channel for fresh air. On the outside, we can see these breakable panels. Once we open it up, we can attach a fresh air duct. The fresh air will flow into the ceiling cassette through the channel, mixed with the return air and supply to the room. Let's look at it from the top. The fresh air come in, mixed with the return air and supply to the room. So. That's all for the working principle of ceiling cassette units. Now, let's talk about some of the facts about ceiling cassette units. Number 1. Compared to wall mounted unit, ceiling cassette units are better looking. They are suitable for places like cafeteria, hotel lobby, and you can even use one in your living room. Number 2. Ceiling cassette is good for large open space where there is no wall to hang the wall mounted unit, or the wall is very far away from the center of the room. Ceiling cassette unit can be hung with or without the ceiling. Number 3. 
The filter of ceiling cassette unit is located at the center of the panel. And the panel is openable. So, filter cleaning is easy. Number 4. Ceiling cassette can use chill water. So, in a chiller system, you can use ceiling cassette in office room, manager room, and certain hallways. Last but not least, ceiling cassette requires a main hole for service and maintenance if you have a ceiling. Otherwise, you need to cut open the ceiling every time you need to fix something. Alright, that is all for this video. I hope you now have a better understanding of ceiling cassette units. I have many more videos about air conditioning, design and calculations. You can watch them to learn more about HVAC. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.